Ignore any noises you hear in the background, please. Probably gonna be a lot of them. Hello, YouTube! I am Kaiju Cooper, and today we are going to be taking a look at, um, the Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach action figures. But we have, um, another action figure. It is a Five Nights at Freddy's one. And, uh, two more things, which I'm just gonna show off right now. We have this Freddle. I used to collect these, but because I was so young and little, I completely destroyed the crap out of every single figure I had. So, they're all gone now. But, yeah, here's the Freddle that came with Nightmare Freddy. Not much to say about him. Let's get him out of here. And, uh, so I got one mystery mini, um from I think it was the sister location and the FNAF 4 wave and I was extremely surprised when I pulled this guy out of the box this is one of the rarest of Five Nights at Freddy's mystery minis so you can imagine my surprise when I pulled Nightmare Fredbear out of there Woo! extremely lucky I'm gonna have the uh, two plushies just sit next to each other in a smiling pose with thousands of teeth. Uh, anyway, let's get to the review. Uh, so we're gonna start off with Montgomery Gator, you know, going in no particular order. Uh, and here he is. I've made a few modifications to some of these figures, such as the white inside of his glasses. Um, it was it used to just be solid black, but okay. Uh, and the movable tail. Yay! Uh, now, yeah, I really like this figure overall, but he isn't my favorite out of the group. Anyway, each figure stands at about six inches tall. They all have the same posability, except for Montgomery and Freddy. And, well, I'm not going to say who the last one is, because he's a bit of a surprise. They can move ball joint at the base of the arm, ball joint at the elbow, ball joint at the leg, ball joint at the knee, uh, ball, Montgomery has a ball joint at the tail. It's removable. As the entire series is. So. Yeah. Uh, ball joint at the head and a swivel at the torso. Each figure also comes with a small plastic accessory. Uh, Montgomery has a guitar. Which, unlike most people, I can actually get him to hold it. Uh, let's see. Great, Monty. You're making me look like a liar on camera. There we go. Yeah, he might be holding it backwards, but I really don't care. As long as I was able to get him to hold it. So we're just going to slide him backwards a bit. And there he is. Montgomery Gator. So next up, we're going to have Roxanne Wolf doing both the new characters. Um, also, right. Reused Funtime Freddy head, just sucked out the jaw. And this one has a reused Funtime Foxy head, so, yeah. Do you think the... yeah, never mind. Um, even though it has the reused head, it still looks extremely nice. I really like, uh, the painting and sculpting on this figure. I think it captures the look of Roxanne Wolf almost perfectly. Uh, even though it has a reused head. Uh, now, even though some of these figures reuse molds, that doesn't make them less accurate. Uh, for example, Roxanne and Montgomery Gator are still extremely accurate to their counterparts, to their artwork counterparts. Anyway, I haven't made any modifications to Roxanne, uh, but she cannot move her head because of her gigantic mane. Uh, Funko probably could have had this swoosh out a little bit, but... I see why they didn't. If they had that, it easily could have broken. Uh, she has the most issues standing. <sighs> Same with the phone. <laughs> Sorry about that, you guys. I am not... Right. Uh, we're gonna address the fact that I've been gone for... We're gonna address all that at the end of the video, so all you dedicated viewers, watch till the end. Uh, Roxanne can actually hold her... Keytar. I think these are very unique instruments. Uh, Scott also kind of fooled us FNAF fans into thinking uh, that 
this was gonna be like back in the 80s, but no, it's actually a sequel to FNAF VR, hooray. It's like FNAF 9, right? I mean, a lot of people don't count FNAF World, but sorry to tell you, it counts. Uh, next up, we have another one of the redesigned animatronics, Glamrock Chica. Uh, we only have two returning animatronics, which is Freddy and Chica. But, um, and one more, but we'll get to him. It's gonna be really underwhelming for you guys that think it's something crazy. Uh, anyway, Glamrock Chica looks like she was the embodiment if you threw a chicken in the 80s. Uh... Yeah, just seriously, the leg warmers, the freaking shoulder pads, fingerless gloves, the earrings, the bow, the makeup, everything. Uh, they also made her white, so she looks like an actual chicken now, but people still mistake her for a duck. Uh, she reuses the OG Chica's beak, but besides the beak, there's nothing else, so yeah. Uh, the detailing is very nice on this figure. I'd say this might be the best figure out of the way if it wasn't for Vanny. Haha, <laughs> we'll get to her too. But, uh, yeah. I can also get this one to hold her guitar pretty well. So we just pop that in there and... I don't care if she's holding it backwards. Still got her to hold it in the first place. So, yeah, Glamrock Chica can now join the others. Mmm... And now we have Glamorock Freddy. Uh, he has very nice detailing, although some of you might notice that he doesn't have the spikes on his wrist cuffs and doesn't have blue nails. His bottom jaw is also entirely lighter color. But I can actually explain this, uh, why he looks like this. Uh, I can also explain a lot of these figures' inaccuracies. I believe Funko didn't reuse the molds for the sake of being cheap. I believe Funko based these figures off of earlier concept art and realized that some of the faces and some of the um, pieces of the animatronics looked similar to molds they already had. So they decided to just reuse those molds. Uh, this also explains why Freddy has doesn't have spikes, but Montgomery does. Uh, the reason is Montgomery's hands were probably made later in development. So, that's why he has spiked cuffs, because Scott probably added those a while after. Uh, meanwhile, with Freddy, he doesn't have his blue nails, spiked cuff, and uh, his sharp teeth, which uh, may not be cheap for being the sake of cheap, but rather uh, early concept art versions of these characters. Next, we have... Vanessa, you guys, you guys just see the cutoff heads. Vanny, hooray! The only figure that doesn't use any remolds. Uh, now, you might notice that she doesn't have the smile. Uh, she just kind of looks like a donkey. But, um, yeah, she doesn't have the smile and she doesn't have the paw. The paw prints on, like, the paws on her hands. And this hand is also all ribboned up and stuff. But I'd say this figure is the most definitive proof that these were based off of early concept art and not finalized renders or anything like that in the game. Uh, she comes with a knife. Good for the kids. You can just slide this into her hand. Right, uh, because there's tape on it, it kind of makes it a bit sticky, so that's why there's... Inside of her hands a bit black right there. So just slide that in. And Vanny. Uh, probably the best figure out of all of them. Right, forgot to say. I gave... I'm so sorry. It's the second time the camera's fallen over. Freddy, I gave him articulation in his feetsies. Cool. Anyway. Just gonna sit Vanny right there in the middle because she's the coolest. Alright, Freddy can die. There you go. And the final character. This oh right. Freddy came with a microphone stand. I, I like just having him hold the microphone normally, so. Eh. The 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 surprise character is gonna be extremely disappointing to every single one of you. 
It's actually Orville Elephant. Kill them all. Kill them all! You guys probably saw my face there, but this is the third time I've recorded, so I'm not doing another recording. Even though it's 3 in the morning, and I should probably do it again for the sake of complete. Anyway! <coughs> Here's Orville. I got the glow-in-the-dark release, so he does look different. And I gave him Mickey Mouse gloves, because I thought it looked cool. He comes with the little magic stick, which I'd probably... Uh, yeah, but he's glow-in-the-dark, and he's all translucent. I really like the way the gloves turned out, and this is actually a surprisingly good figure. He stays together better than the security breach dudes, which is really saying something, considering this guy's from the previous wave, and he's also a re-release. So, yeah, there's that. Anyway, uh, yeah, Orville is the only survivor. And Fredbear. Extremely rare Fredbear. Yay. Oops. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just... Ah! Oh, almost forgot. Yeah, sorry I've been gone for a month. I had to get back to physical school. I'll try and upload more, but I highly doubt I'll be able to get out as many videos. Uh, please consider subscribing. We've almost hit 40 subscribers. Hooray! If we can make to 50, I'll uh, do that Five Nights at Freddy's Stop Animation series. Yeah, a lot of my own personal projects have also been put on halt. Like renovating the shed into a YouTube studio. And I'm not talking about the app. Uh, anyway, I hope to get to uh, more videos in the future, but I hope you guys enjoy this one video that I was able to get out. Uh, sorry about the change of background, too. Uh, this was a very makeshift video.